We're in Newman Souls, and remember when we did this? This is our battery strapping. It has a hook. We have another hook that it goes to that screws into the floor. This hook doesn't fit into that other hook, so we gotta go get something to fix that up. These screws. Yeah, it's uh, these little things. They're like little hooks with little screws on the end of them. And we're gonna take those back and get bigger ones. We have what does it say? 204. 204? We have this one right here. Right. These are zinc. What are those? Those are not zinc. Stainless. Stainless. Okay, so now that you're all cut up, let's continue with how the rest of our day went. because you won't do them. We messed it all up. Just kidding. Okay. You... Go on, 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 guys, go on. Come in, come on in, don't be scared. It's a lot of power in here, but don't be scared. So we're making a little battery box slash frame. The frame is so that we can put, um, we'll have some pieces that are running above the battery box so we can put plexiglass and protect the terminals from getting touched you don't want to basically once once the terminals all get hooked up you don't want to touch positive to negative because then it'll jump and you'll you just, no bueno okay just just know i know what i'm talking about but yeah we're just building out the little frame here the bottom pieces here if you come in look the bottom pieces here are going to be really what is going to be drilled into the floor and then that will hold these guys and then we will have we got straps or tie downs essentially some cheap tie downs uh, don't worry about that and we're going to strap the batteries down so they don't move and then also we'll have the protection so the frame will serve as the mounting points for the straps and it will also be what allows us to put the cover for the battery so that they are protected at all times. We were making a corner and uh, as you can see, it's not the most beautiful thing. That's why uh, don't, Pay attention. don't come out here on an empty brain or an empty stomach, whichever. We ate before. I'm on an empty brain though. Don't come out on an empty brain. Do you like our new pet? What pet? Right here. Where? Oh. Our pet fly? I have him on a string. Don't scare him away though. He he, he can get out the string. No. Uh, need a magnetic tip. What? Why? Why? Well, the bottom plate's not going anywhere. That's good. You see this side? It's very good. It's very good. The position you're in is just it's terrible. No, 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 no. And then we don't have to do anything else. Call it quit. How are you gonna screw those in there? You literally just screw them in. Really? Mm -hmm. How? Just By hand? Mm-hmm. Don't know why they do this. Now I need to figure out where they're going. Either middle or outside. It's like here and here. Mm -hmm. That would be better. Yeah. But it wouldn't look that good. Where, like the outside in there? Yeah. Yeah, I know. I feel like that would be the best. It wouldn't look that good. But it would be most secure. Are we going for looks or are we going for well, security? I think that'll work. Hopefully this doesn't rub. We might need to put, we'll, we'll, we'll put it on, but we might need to take it off and then put like little rubber pieces here. Yeah. Oh, you make it look so light. I know. 
three quarters inch on center. It might be right where your screw is. It is. <laughs> right, I gotta move that one. I guess we already got a hole now, right? I can help you out. I can help you out. I can help you out. <sighs> My hammies. Hammies are dying? Yes. You needed a hammy workout. I didn't. Well, I did actually. Okay. I got our little chocolate bars. Little chocolate bars? Mm -hmm. You got the straps figured out? You ever done these before? I mean, I just did it right now. But you can't start cranking it. Why? Because then you'll be bunched up right there. I say this. No, no, not yet. I don't want to, which way I don't want to do it. Oh, like that. Let's see. You can barely almost fit. When you're good, you're good. I don't think this is right. Something's wrong here. You see how I have this all messed up? Okay. So it didn't really go as planned. We're having trouble with the tie downs. They're not really, they're not really doing what we want them to do. So I have a Call of Duty Warzone tournament to attend to. So we're gonna take a slight break. And all day. All day break. An all day break. <laughs> and uh, we'll let you know how things go later. But for now, I don't know how to use these tie downs. And they're cheap too. They're like really cheap. So we might go get different ones. But they're like, like the rope is cheap and like the thing is cheap. We will maybe try to finish this up later this evening. So we'll see you then. Feels all yours. Hey everybody, I'm here today to show you how to use a ratchet tie down. So as you can see right here, I have a ratchet tie down mm. and I have a strap. Okay, we're gonna have breakfast, we wanna work on the van. I mean, they're still gonna move though. We're still gonna have to, it's not gonna work. We're still gonna have to put something in there that prevents them from like moving side to side. I mean, we really don't have to move, worry about it going like back and forth, right? Like, it's not gonna go back and forth. It's just the side to side, like that. That's the movement that we gotta worry about. So I went to the store and I got more tie downs. Um, they didn't have the ones we got last time, so I just got black. And then we're drilling these into the stud. And hopefully our battery boxes won't move after that. Our batteries won't move after that. What are you thinking? What are we doing? What's oh, going on? Nothing. Nothing. I'm just... Okay, nothing. Got... We're adding another strap for our batteries. We also got these really cool glasses. I love it. You look. You like it? Yeah. We also got face masks. You can never go wrong with face masks, especially during a pandemic. So we're doing two, right? Yeah. Go big or go home. What's, why are they so long? Because they're, they're tie downs. What do you what do you tie things down? Trailers. Mm. Okay, people. Going in. Yes, okay, we have all of our hooks in. And then just like magic. And there you have it. Let's see if they move. Not as bad as they were. No. <clears throat> so it's not flying everywhere. It's not flying. They can't fly. We're gonna do a test drive tonight. Oh yeah? Might as well. Well, I guess we'll see you for the test drive. Nothing. Look what we did last night. So what we did was we added a another piece of wood to go from one end to the other. And then we added our top pieces. And then we added Velcro and then we attached the, the acrylic glass to the Velcro which was attached to the wood. It just comes off. Just 
just like that. And then this piece of wood was Velcroed onto it. We're gonna change that. Yeah. Well, we know that this piece of wood right here needs to be removed in order for us to get to our batteries to be able to adjust it and stuff. What we thought for like a temporary idea is to Velcro the wood onto each other so you would just remove the wood itself and then you could get to our batteries. And that's it. <laughs> you see the straps? You see the straps? Stop, stop. <laughs> these are ratchet tie downs. So these are the ratchets for the tie down. We're thinking that we maybe wanted to have these uh, studs kind of uniform in between the batteries, but we had to move this one because we needed to make room for the the ratchet handles. In order to like block this whole thing off, I'm not sure if we're gonna keep these black ones or not. This kind of just temporary so that the batteries can stay in the van without flying around. But it does hold the batteries, they don't go anywhere. So that's really good. And that's kind of all we really cared about. So would you recommend doing this? Doing if it like, this way? If like someone, if someone got batteries like this, this individual cells, and they were to put it down, mm -hmm. would you recommend doing it like this? I would say that like you, you want to tie the batteries down. This is a cool and easy way to do it. All you need is like the ratchet tie downs, which are cheap, and you need like a hook. So it's a really cheap way of doing it. The other way is obviously just to like create an entire box, you know, nail wood pieces together, screw wood pieces together, and like create a frame for it. You put rubber right here, rubber pieces in between the tie downs and the battery because the battery plastic is actually kind of sharp and it will rip the tie down material. We gotta finish up, finish up some of the stuff, this wood piece here and uh, we should be good. Ah! That's so strong, huh? It is, 10 pounds. Wow, that's good. Okay, so while Dylan's fixing that, we're just gonna get a list together of all the things we need to do to make sure we're kind of back on track and that we can put our walls up easily. We can frame everything we need to frame. And that way we're not forgetting stuff. Cause there's been some things so far that we've kind of forgotten to include. So we need to fix that again. And just make sure that we're future proofing everything. Yeah? What? Let me say to my friend. Do you want to run a full piece of D-Velcro or do you just want to add to this one? Why we got to run a full piece? The, the acrylic doesn't go all the way over there. You're right, you got me. Don't mind me, okay? That's why you have a woman on the job. Don't mind me. She thinks. But yeah, we're just gonna make a list of all the things we need to do and then we'll tell you about our list so maybe if you're considering building a van, you don't forget this very important step. We've done some things where we've put things up and we've had to take it down because we forgot to do something. But here we go, Dylan's drilling. Okay, change of plans, sorry. I'm vlogging with my left hand. Um, change of plans, we're actually going to countersink these to make sure that we're flat. Our screw nails are flat. And then, just like magic. It's good? Boom. Yep. Boom. Everything that's coming from our batteries is gonna be the positive and negative wires and then the BMS wires as well. So what we did was, I don't know how this worked out, but the plexiglass we bought we didn't even measure, we were just like, at Home Depot, we were like, oh, this looks like a good idea. Like, we'll just see if this can work. If not, we'll use it for something. And so we just bought a random size acrylic piece. And then last night, we didn't test fit it or anything. We just stuck it in there and it somehow fit. Like, we didn't have to cut this, we didn't have to do anything. So, with that in mind, if you look in the back, you'll see a big space. It's about a two inch space all the way across. And this is where our wires are coming through. So our negative wire is gonna come up this way and our positive wire is gonna come up this way. And then our BMS wire can go any which way you choose. But <laughs> yeah, we just thought that was funny. <laughs> How we didn't measure it, didn't cut it. It just somehow worked. So I think the measurements were like 24 by 20 or something, something like that. It was a really small piece, but just glad we didn't have to cut in. 
And then we might, um, later, we might add, like, a finishing trim all the way around so you don't see the Velcro and you don't see this weird gap right there. So, no. Is that it for the battery box? Oh, well, if that's it, then thanks for watching this video. We hope it was helpful, and if it wasn't... If that's not it. If that's not it! <laughs> <laughs> I hate you. Um, thanks for watching anyway, and we'll see you next week. <laughs> Love. Love. If you...